Well, welcome back to me vegetable garden. Well, welcome back everyone uh, just a five ten minute quick video just to give you a little update of what's going on in my vegetable garden uh, not much really just a bit of harvesting and what have you but there's a few things I'd like to show you just to keep you up to date what's happening so we'll get straight into it um, all my beds starting to clear now ready for next year the rhubarb which I'll come around here as you can see still producing a few stems but it's uh, quieting down now and that's me comfrey over there that will hopefully provide us with quite a bit of comfrey next year still getting some nice cosmos flowers and calendulas and marigolds so doing very well right Get stuck straight in. This is the Solent White which I've had outside. I planted the the uh, cloves of garlic straight into the soil and as you can see coming on really nicely now. It's been a couple of weeks but doing very nicely. Some beetroot which is just thickening up now. I've got another one which is uh, some more solent white again straight in to the soil and as you can see there's just a few coming really short as you can see a few just starting, starting to poke through as you can see some doing about half a hand it's about four inches tall now doing very nicely uh, just had a spare uh, shallot bulb and I don't know if you can see it, but right there you can see the green shoot coming. But that's been outside in the pot from day one. Again, these are some solent white which I had in the seed tray to start off. And then when they got a bit established, I then transferred them into one of these. And as you can see, that is even happier these are really tall now these are about six inches tall uh, doing really well so pleased about that uh, some bush tomatoes some cherry tomatoes starting to ripen outside now nights are still starting to cool down but uh, yeah starting to ripen dying back now but this time of year you can't expect anything less some more cosmos me inkberry I'm collecting the uh, lanterns with the berry inside as they dry out uh, but there's still loads on here uh, I'm freezing them until I get enough to make some uh, pots of jam which were absolutely lovely last year so as you can see loads of lanterns still to come. Right, leeks, as you can see there, I mean I put my finger up against it, there's my finger there, as you can see it's about two inches wide roughly, so they're starting to thicken up nicely now. I've been harvesting some of the cabbage uh, my Brussels sprouts, uh, my Christmas spuds, doing all right, nice green bushy. Trying to water them a bit more than I did them with my main crop. Hopefully, get a bit good, good harvest from them. Uh, all sorts here. This is my celery, and I don't know if you can see, but the stalks now are really coming 
thick and fast now, so I'm really pleased with that. Uh, these are just again my spuds. It looks a jungle. I'm just letting them grow mad. Uh, Chinese cabbage in here. Just pull it back a bit. Being nibbled a bit on the outside by snails or slugs, but the inside's coming up nicely. Cover them up. My sweet corn. Uh, these are doing absolutely fantastic, even though the weather's curled off. As you can see, the tassels are starting to brown. Sorry for the shadows. Uh, quite decent size there. And I'm getting about two or three on each stalk. So doing really well. All the tassels there. Uh, helping to hand pollinate them. I've got one here which has almost died back the tassels so I'll be uh, harvesting this one soon hopefully so uh, I mean I mean there's some that are just coming like that one and I don't think they'll get pollinated and grown up before the winter comes but I might transfer this this container inside the greenhouses um, in a week or so's time and hopefully that will keep the frosts and cold at bay a little bit longer and hopefully get uh, a bit of crop from these but very happy uh, but yeah turnips doing really well uh, as I see I've been harvesting the sprouts as you can see there's not many left on very nice um, the Nero uh, no not Nero Romana score cabbage which is that thing there really tall it's got one hell of a stem on it so I'm assuming it's going to be really good hopefully uh, just uh, another potato hiding in there me strawberries I've cut back Right, I've cut them right back, and as you can see, and I'll just lift this up to top, you see, uh, as you can see, it's already starting to produce some new leaves, younger leaves, that'll hopefully keep it going, right there, a few on there, and there's one on there as well, so hopefully they'll be okay, and I took some runners, and and it potted them um, as you can see there's no broad beans in the corner where they normally are that will become apparent later the runner beans have flowered but I think they were just too late not many pollinators about so it was a it was a try they did make an effort to grow but uh, just that little bit too late so um, at least I know, at least I know. It's all a learning process, isn't it? So, the greenhouses, as you can see, empty of tomato plants. I've harvested them all, and later on in the video, you'll see uh, a small part of me harvest. Asparagus, as you can see, doing really well, and again, Another stem still coming through, and these stems are really getting thick now. So um, it's really grown. I think it's really happy. So I might get some asparagus next year. Let's hope so. Um, me bell pepper. I've got it in here, producing some nice bell peppers now. King of the North, really happy with them. Harvested already a few of them, so uh, very nice. Right, I've got um, some Solent White, my Jermaine Shallots, and some of my Marco Garlic. Uh, and these were started in a module and then transferred into these, but these, unlike the other ones I've showed you just earlier, these are going to overwinter in the greenhouse see what happens with them as opposed to leaving them outside uh, see see what sort of harvest I get from both uh, 
but these are absolutely rumping away as you can see even taller than my hand these have got to be about eight inches tall these they're absolutely flying away absolutely tall my shallots me germane uh jamo sorry not germane jamo shallots uh they are really flying away these ones absolutely they've started I think to start splitting because there's about six stems on this and there's about five on that one and about four or five on this one so they are really doing well and the mark or a little bit behind the solent but still really starting to grow a bit now um, these greenhouses I've washed them down cleaned them sterilized well not sterilized but used disinfectant on them so they're nice and clean uh, the outside needs a bit of a clean but I can do that at another point but the main reason is to get these staging in and I will quickly go over to the other greenhouse and as you can see I've got me again I've cleaned it out and I've got the staging in and basically it's got all my strawberry runners that I've taken and you'd see they've taken because they're producing uh, the new shoots which is one there there's a one there and there is a one in there, I don't know, you just see it at the base of that stem. But yeah, they've all taken, they're all grown, they're all really happy. So I'll overwinter these in here. Um, these are what's left of my mark oh, as you can see, doing alright. As soon as I get some more free pots I'll be putting these on. And these are the last two of the Solent White. Um, I've got more cloves in the garage, but I'm going to start them off a bit later, around about December. These, again, some more Solent White, and as you can see, really tall, doing really well, happy here. Um, I'm barely doing well I haven't watered these for about a week and they're still quite wet so um, these don't need any watering some more germane uh, germane I will say germane jamore and again these are doing really well got about six or seven stems and that one has already started to split and this is me broad bean I mentioned earlier as you can see it is flowering like mad I don't know if there's any pollinators about uh, I leave the garage doors open uh, not garage greenhouse doors open but um, there might not be any pollinators about so it might be a bit of a fruitless task doing this but give it a go I've had no to lose so We'll see. I'll keep you updated. So that's about it. Uh, everything, uh, Swede and uh, the kale is doing all right over there. Um, all the winter, overwintering cabbage, like this here. This is a uh, winter all's mate doing very nicely. Nice, good, solid stems on them. Uh, not much damage by pests. Um, and again, uh, this uh, carrots over there, uh, see how long they go. Uh, some more celery down here in this pot, doing all right. Not as good as the other one though. Um, and that's about it. I haven't harvested my squash yet. Uh, but uh, he is getting a little bit bigger. No, no by a great deal but he's getting a little bit bigger so I'm just going to leave him for a minute um, yeah so that's it um, as I say more overwintering stuff doing very nicely um, hardly any damage to leave so I'm really pleased so we'll see how this goes 
and again more beetroot. Uh, so yeah, that's the state of play. Greenhouses have been changed from growing tomatoes to get the staging in and overwintering my garlic and my shallots. Um, I am growing some garlic and shallots outside just to compare. Um, there are my pots that I had my tomatoes in. Um, I'll use them next year for, uh, for me uh, cabbages and the like. Um, so won't let that go to waste and that's about it right well I'll tag this little clip on the end of the video just to show you the tomatoes that I've harvested as you've seen in the video I've uh, I cut them all down um, cleaned the greenhouses out and what have you so um, this is what I do with my harvest at the end. So as you can see, I've got a lovely bowl full of lovely fresh tomatoes. So I'll be making a batch of soup out of that lot. And then, this is all the other tomatoes that I've got. Some have ripened and some are in the process of ripening and some are, haven't even started yet but they will eventually turn but yeah I've got a really good harvest I've harvested well this lot about three or four times uh, so far so I've done really well I've made loads of soup and I'll probably make loads more as well as bolognese sauce and what have you but yeah uh, what I do and it uh, rather than detach all the tomatoes off these are going to be used straight away so it doesn't really matter with these but for the ones that are green and you still want to ripe and what I would suggest you do is take them off but leave them on the vine um, it takes up more room but like for example this you could have just took them off about there but if you leave this vine on what I tend to find is the keep longer the stay fresher longer uh, so it gives them more time to ripen uh, which these are doing quite nice as you can see there's another vine there with all these on so I keep them on the vine as long as I can and it just gives them a better chance of uh, ripening just at the right time and as you can see, see now yeah, just keep them all on and uh, you'll find they do st steer fresher longer I mean, look at that one huge vine on that um, so yeah so that's my tomato and these are my black ones and as you can see if you grow these that's an unripe one and that's a right one you can see the bottom bit turns red just like a normal tomato so that's how you notice that they've gone and uh, I've done really well this year with these a lovely tomato so I think I'll grow them again next year. So hope you enjoyed that. Try to keep it as short as I can. Hope I didn't rush too much. Uh, so until the next time, enjoy the flower. And see you next time in my vegetable garden.